Hello Year 7, hope you're doing well. I'm back, you're back. It's lesson three of Physics of Speed and this is Velocity and Acceleration. I hope you're okay, let's get started. So, like before, it's four parts of the lesson. There are two sheets I'll show you at home that you can print off. If you haven't got them, not a problem. You can work on online paper. So get yourself organized, get ready, and we'll get going. So, let's start with some brilliant retrieval. Your first slide is on particles. What can you remember? Pause it now, off you go. Okay, so here are your answers. So again, if you're not sure on any of the answers, pause the video now, make some quick notes, um, make sure you are ready to move on. So, next slide is back to cells. Again, pause the video now, off you go. So, how did you get on? Have a look at your answers. Look on the look on the uh, screen now. How did you get on? If you are stuck with struggling a little bit, make some notes now. Do some revision. Make a little card if you need to. And the final slide is back to this current topic, all about distance time graphs. So again, pause the video now. What can you remember from the last lesson? Off you go. Okay. So, how did you get on? Have a look at the answers on the on the screen now. Again, if you've done them, all got them brilliant, fantastic. If not, pause the unit and revise them. So today we're going to be looking at velocity and acceleration. And I'm going to start by going through last lesson's questions. There's quite a lot of questions to do. And it's really important we check out you got on. Now, if you're really struggling with this, don't worry about it. Message me, look online, find some help. But here are the answers. So the first sheet, okay is now on the board there so you can look at your answers again those eight questions getting gradually harder yeah you could be able to mark out a 14 if you like the second lot of questions were about this graph here so you had four questions to answer and the answers are now appearing for you again check your answers how did you get on and the final lot of questions you had to answer were on this graph again you had four questions so have a look at your answers how to get on and we are now good to move on to something new so i'm going to change my camera so you can see my sheet and we now need to Just change my camera. sorry guys so here is the sheet we're working on for new knowledge today and it's all about acceleration so i'm gonna just focus my camera for you and we need got a couple of new words in this first of all. Now, velocity is a word you may have heard before. And actually, it is really straightforward. It is just speed with a direction. So the definition of SDB though, I'm copying that so I've got the same information, is how far an object moves in a given time in a direction. So the only difference between speed, only difference between speed and velocity is that velocity has a direction. And that is the key thing here. And why that's important is when you look at acceleration in a minute, it will, you'll see why if you need to learn about that. So, acceleration. Again, you probably used well before, you've heard it before, but the definition you need to know is acceleration is how quickly an object's velocity changes. So it's how quickly the velocity changes, how quick, how, how much faster it gets, how much slower it gets, and that is what you need to know. Now you might see, you will see in lessons, a negative acceleration. Now that is literally when an object slows down. Whenever you see a negative acceleration, if an object is slowing down. So for example, if you apply, if you're in your in your car and your parents apply the brakes you are negative acceleration, you are slowing down. So the unit of acceleration, 
okay? They're a little bit different, but again, very also similar same sign. They are meters per seconds squared. Now, when you come to write as a day, when you use a unit, we're going to do m slash s squared. So whenever you write acceleration, you always use this unit here, meters per second squared. So the final new bit of knowledge for you is the equation for calculating acceleration. Now, again, it's a very mass heavy topic. Now, acceleration, to calculate it, Okay, now we know acceleration now. Have the unit meters per second squared. And to calculate it, what we need to do is we need to know two things. The first thing is the change in velocity. And we know that that is just speed. So the unit is meters per second. And we need to know also how long that change took, so the time for that change to happen, and time as we know is measured in seconds. So that is the equation you need to know. Now, if you're like me, you like a good symbol equation, we write, luckily, write acceleration as A. The change in velocity, now in science, whenever you see a triangle like that, that means changing, and it's change in velocity divided by time. So there is your five new pieces of knowledge you need to make mistake. So what we need to do is you can pause the video now, have a moment on the whiteboard with the person in the household, practicing, make sure you know those five questions inside out. So off you go. Right, welcome back. So, what we need to do is today is the most important part of the lesson is actually being able to use the equation. And like I like before, I'm going to model some of you, okay? And always copy down what I'm doing. And when I finish talking, you're going to have go away and practice on yourself. So, the first question is here. So, a cyclist accelerates from zero to 10 meters per second in five seconds. What is her acceleration? Now, you should hopefully remember that from lesson one my four top tips. Step one is bug. That's bug the question. So again, we're going to do it together now. So we're going to bug it so I can see I've got this, this, and I want to find out that. So I've bug the question. Number two, the equation. So try and do this from memory, but write the equation. I'm going to use the symbols. So again, acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by time. <coughs> Step three, substitute. So this time you're going to substitute in your values. Now we can see, we have been told the time is five. Straight away, I can see that T is five. So I'm going to put like that. The change in velocity, they've gone from zero to 10. So the difference between these is 10. So 10 meters per second divided by five. Step four is solve. So we're going to solve the equation, 10 divided by 5. Do you need a calculator to grab it? If not, we know that's 2. And because the acceleration is meters per second squared. And that's your first answer. Okay, let's do one more together. So again, if you need to, just drop down your four key steps. So let's bug it. We've got 5,000 meters per second of stationary, two seconds and acceleration. It's about a rocket, but to be honest, you don't really care what it's about because all I'm bothered about is the, the answer to the question. So we see here, first of all, step one is bug to step two, the equation. Again, you should be doing this from memory. So time, straight away, easy, two seconds. So we know that T is two. Change velocity. It's gone from 5,000 to stationary. Now, stationary, that means they're stopped. That means they're not moving. Like, they're not moving. They have got no velocity. So, therefore, they've gone from 5,000 to zero. So, the change is 5,000. 5,000 in two seconds. That means divide it is 2,500. 
and a unit is meters per second squared. Again, two nice questions not everyone's been able to do about it at the end of the lesson, okay? The third question is again, like you know, it's gonna get a little bit tougher. And this time, and it's a bit longer, let's read through it. Rob is in trouble with the police. He is traveling at A29, he's a police car and breaks from 50 to stand still. So again, bark in that question. Stand still, I now know that's zero. His deceleration was 10 meters per second squared. Deceleration is just um, slowing down. How long did it take him to break? So we've done step one, we've bugged it. Step two, again, write your equation out. So I know that my equation looks like that. Step three, substitute. Now we have got, we haven't got time, but we do know the acceleration was 10. So we can put A is 10. We can also see that we don't have time to set up there. We can see 50 to a standstill, so 50 to zero. So therefore the change is gonna be 50. So we now need to rearrange your equation to make T the subject. So again, draw a line that you do in maths, times both sides by T. So now you need you've got 10 T equals 50. I'm gonna divide now both sides by 10 to get T on its own. So that means T equals 50 divided by 10. So we need to do 50 divided by 10. That gives you an answer of five. And because we're working with time, it must be five seconds. Okay, so that is my new knowledge for you. You do have a swap sheet attached to show my homework. Now, if you have got it printed off, it looks like this. Okay, your sheet here, you've got 10 questions to answer. You can't print it off. I'll just show it to you now what it should be. So it's this sheet here. Okay, oh, next slide for you. Okay, the 10 questions you need to answer are there. Um, again, they start easy, they get hard as you go down. Actually, question 10 is a real tricky one, so that'll be a challenge for everyone, which I'm looking forward to getting on with that. And again, we'll go through the answers next session. Um, Again, next lesson, we'll do some velocity time graphs. We'll take it to the last part of this topic. It's a short topic, but also very snappy. Remember, before then, do some material practice. Um, I'm gonna, so we're gonna set you a weekly recall test this week about these lessons, so you get on with that. So watch home my homework, watch this face. And we need to complete the slot tasks, as you said, and then next video, we'll, next video, we'll, we'll go through them, and don't forget to share the video. So, I hope you have a lovely day, lovely week, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Have a great time.